Mo, Mo, please. Oh, I can't lose you, Mo. We just met. We have so much time left together. Hey guys, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 3. As I said in the first episode of this, this game is quite controversial and I was interested to see what you guys had to say. So let's read a few of the top comments. It's sad that the new PVZ games haven't been very good, but I really hope they get better. Okay, so uh, not exactly a glowing review of PVZ 3 or I guess some of the more recent games. I will say that I did uh, enjoy Plants vs. Zombies 2 a lot, guys. I think the, the bones for that game are really good. Nobody likes all the microtransactions in mobile games, but uh, just the game itself is uh, quite good in my opinion. It's it's like a good improvement on the first game as a, in like the base concept, you know? Like, like the graphics and things like that. It's nice. PVC 3 though, on the other hand, guys, uh, I don't know if I can say the same, okay? It feels like uh, in a lot of ways, this game is a graphical downgrade. You know, if, if I was gonna want anything from Plants vs. Zombies, it would be a PC slash console version of the game. And I know you have like, you know, Garden Warfare or whatever, but I wanna see like a really good, not mobile version of Plants vs. Zombies. Is that so much to ask for? Yes. Of course it is, it's EA. I love how everyone's least favorite levels in PVZ2 were the levels you couldn't pick your plants and now this entire game is only levels where you can't pick. Well done EA, LOL. Um, personally, I didn't find those levels that bad. I actually kind of liked the constraint sometimes because I get overwhelmed with so many choices. So, you know, some of the levels where you uh, had to use the plants that were given to you were fun because you get to learn and you get to challenge yourself a little bit. So I'm not sure if I necessarily agree with that. Now, guys, this one is a bit of a doozy, but I wanted to include it because of the fact that uh, there's a lot of information here. Okay, there's so many different directions this could have taken. So many good variations of what they did. I'd love a more story-driven version of PVZ, maybe even with unique quests that involve their own gimmicks and backgrounds like the worlds in PVZ 2, but more story-driven and only optional. I'd love to have a PVZ game with more characters than just Dave. That'd be really fun, and I can see how much personality you could give the game. And an updated art style would be pretty cool, given that the art is an upgrade and has some personality behind it rather than, oh, this is what all them kittens would like to see. There's so many really cool ideas that could be introduced in this game, but EA had to come in and mess up everything. The ticket system thing, the lives, the general transformation of every wonderful aspect of PVC2 into a stupid cut and paste mobile game, it's horrible. Oh, I'm just incredibly upset and I don't get upset easily. I really hope all this changes into an actually good game because I love PVZ. It's absolutely wonderful. I just hope with all my might that EA can realize that all this stuff they're doing is bad and I hope they can make it better. Yeah, that is, that's a big oof right there, guys. Okay, so I do agree with a lot of that stuff, guys, but I'm not sure if they can really turn it around at this point. Like they, they decided to make the game like this. They're not gonna do a complete three, six, 180. That's, that's half a turn go the other way. They're not gonna do that, okay? I think they're just gonna just roll with it and we're just gonna see what happens, okay? Because if this game is unsuccessful, if people don't like it and people aren't enjoying it and people aren't downloading it and maybe spending their money on it, then it's, uh, it's gonna show, you know? They're gonna realize pretty quickly what they've done and I'm curious to see what actually does happen with that because I mean, we don't know. We don't know if the, if the general market, if people are gonna just come in and be like, wow, this is a great game and play it. Uh, but it kind of feels like that ain't gonna happen. Anyway, let's play some PVC3. As I said in the last episode, guys, I, I just wanna have some fun. I wanna focus on the gameplay here. Uh, the, uh, everything else is kind of a distraction anyway, right? As always, guys, you can leave your comments down below. Thank you to the people who commented on that video and gave their opinions. You're always welcome to do that. I do try and read comments now and then in videos to let you know that I do actually see them. Day two out of 13, analyze spray paint. Do it. Ah. Ew, Uncle Dave, did you really just lick the paint? Blood too. zombie paint. Just as I suspected. But why would they paint my shed? That's just blatantly disrespectful. I durga can't I can't stand it when people hog whistle my stuff. Dave, you're not making any sense here. I know that's kind of Dave's point, but he just seems to be a little, a little off his game. Okay, what is this? Is this hack pack? Don't hack that! Don't hack my mo. Uh oh. 
Ah, uh, that's not good, guys. They just did something to Mo. I like these little, these graphics are nice. Like these little like uh, little cutscene things. Those those are fun. <laughs> Let's put a fresh coat of paint on this shed. Lucky for us, I got my shed painting badge at summer camp. Really, a shed painting badge? That's pretty cool. That's that's definitely a real thing. Let's let's repaint the shed, aka let's go shoot some zombies. Okay, this is what we got in this one. These three dudes right here. Apparently, it takes 14p shots to kill a regular zombie, when in the other games it takes 10. I don't know if it shoots any faster or not, but that seems to be not cool. Uh, boost like chili pepper can give you an edge against the zombies, cause cause apparently we need boost for that. Okay, we can't can't just play well anymore. You gotta you gotta boost it now. Okay, we're gonna freeze the zombies. Ta-da! Don't spend them all in one place. Make sure to save some for later levels. Just let me use my skills, game. I swear I got some. I swear. Should probably focus on getting this uh, this pea shooter, right? That might be a good idea so we can actually take out that zombie. Speed it up, because we got to shoot at them a lot. Thank you. We're, we're like still on tutorial stuff. Come on, man, give me, the, give me the real game. Show me the real Plants vs. Zombies 3. It's, this is basically what the, what people have been saying for the last like five years. Are you sure this is PBZ3? Are you sure? Oh my God, it's an ad. Why serve me ads? I'm in Canada, you can't do this to me. You won't let me spend money on the game, but you're gonna make me watch the ads? They caught on to me, guys. They figured out what I was doing. Oh, we, so we, got, we get to keep that? We get to keep the Zomboss vote thing? I think we're gonna change that too, right? Uh, I don't really like all these, any of these very much. I'll go, I'll go with this one. It's cool. Much better. And looky what I found inside. My Flabberclap multi-tool. With it, we can begin building the fog vacuum to save Neighborville. All we need is a jet engine, some bibble grape, a washing machine, a few parts for the Brobblegurk, and some kind of big balloon. Before we gather all that stuff, we gotta get rid of that creepy Zomboss poster. It's giving me the willies. Vote for Zomboss. Must be some kind of sick joke. I'll slap one of my posters right over his ugly mug. I don't even think Zomboss would let democracy happen, guys. That's not a thing, right? Your boss doesn't let you vote, vote out the boss. Grapple idea. I'm gonna put a, a neon sign to brighten up the place and make it feel less like a spooky graveyard. Let me guess, I gotta go play level so I can put, put the, okay. We, yeah, we got two tasks to do now, guys. We need to go get some taco tickets. All right. This better not be a tutorial level. I want a real level this time, please, please. Oh, great. Look what they're doing to my lawn. Look how they massacred my boy. I don't like this. Stop doing that, okay? And I'm well aware that that, that, that line <laughs> could be used in a lot of places in this game. Oh, also, uh, they give you double the uh, double the nuts this time without, without a, uh, a, 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 what's it called? An imitator, that's weird. Where's my imitator, bro? Where's my tater? Oh God. Oh wow, I actually got that somehow. That's good. <laughs> Cause if I didn't, things would've been bad. I think I think we'll get this guy, won't we? I don't know, we gotta do 14 hits to him. That's okay, Mo will take care of it. Ah, thank you. Thank you, grapes, very cool. Kinda forgot about those, to be honest. Cause we have no choice because they took so much of my lawn from me. Seriously, how dare you? Ah, uh, oh, uh, oh, ah, uh, oh, we need to do this, and then we need to do this, and then we need to get enough money to get a, a, a guy. We gotta get a, 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 our boy, come on. There we go. Because we need some splash damage or something. Well, we didn't really get to use the splash damage, that's for sure. Because there was only one zombie left, but fine. I think my favorite part of Plants vs. Zombies 3 is the logo. It's the only thing that reminds me of the other Plants vs. Zombies games. <laughs> okay, uh, we have two tasks. We can actually do the second one first, so let's put the neon sign up. Gravy. Dave Cola is pretty cool. I like that. Man. These, okay, I like all three of these. I really like that this one says Gravy. I like that this one is, is Dave. And I like this one because it's got a sunflower. How am I supposed to choose? Oh man, this one kind of goes with the other aesthetic as well. I'm going with Dave Cola. 
I like I like that Dave is in the sign, guys. How could I turn that down? Oh, that's a bright new Blargle sign. Now let's see. Where did I put that jet engine? Dave, what are you doing with the jet engine? Are you even allowed to have that? That sounds illegal, bro. So we got our boy, the Squash, this time, guys. Squash can crush multiple zombies. That's two zombies, bonk. I love you, Squash. But Squash is itself in the process. Yes, I know. I know. Poor guy. How sad. Well, let's just go ahead and do that. That can be our first thing. Wait, does sun fall from the sky? Yeah, it does. Good, because if it didn't, we'd be in big trouble. All right, Squash. Boom. And then we'll do this. Okay. Oh, no! The bottom lane. I forgot about it. All good. Oh, snap. That's a lot of zombies up there, guys. No biggie. No biggie. Wait for it. And go. Beautiful. That's not so bad. I, I like I like the way they uh, they get hit by the squash. That's 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 a good thing. That, that that gets a thumbs up for me. Whoa, what's this? What what I get there? Sun. I got I got sun as a power up. Yeah. I like the taco. I like the pea shooter, but I think I like the sunflower the most. So we're gonna go with that. It's gravy, baby. See, the the gravy sign did go well with this thing here. But what could you do? You know, this is a different section, so we're okay. Much better. As if anyone would vote for Zomboss. Unless it was in a grossest rubbery skin contest. <laughs> got him. Nice job, Patrice. Well, Patrice, I've got good news and bad news. The bad news is that someone stole most of the parts we need for our fog vacuum. The good news is that I'm almost out of clean laundry. That's not good news, Uncle Dave. Crash. Mo, what gives? You just broke Uncle Dave's workbench. Did I do that? How clumsy of me. Mmm, I needed to, that to mix plant food and fertilizer into my super secret plant formula. Without it, we can't beat the zombies. You should be more careful, Mo. Come on, Uncle Dave, let's build a new workbench so we can feed our growing army of plants. Okay, we don't actually have a pea shooter in this one. Interesting. We don't need it. We don't need it. Look at that guy go. Beautiful. Get one up here as well. And then we're gonna need to squash those guys, I think. Maybe we let them hit them. I, I think they're lined up enough, but if we let them hit them once, uh, that'll move them back a little bit, I guess. Like that. I don't think it matters. You gotta be careful, though. We gotta make sure that we have uh, good protection. I think that one's probably gonna be the most important right now. Uh-oh. I just realized what's at the bottom here, guys. That's okay. Uh, Mo, you don't need to handle that. I got it, bro. Oh, actually. Yeah, Mo, can you can you handle the top one? And I'll handle the bottom one? Hup. Bonk. There he goes. Sliding on up. Thank you, Mo. Very cool. Zzz. Now, he's been hacked, right? Maybe he doesn't know he's been hacked. It's because because if he knew he was... If he was, like, turned into a bad guy, he wouldn't still be helping us, right? Or I guess he's trying to be, like, a spy. He's, uh, he's doing some espionage. That could that could be it. Because if, if, cause, cause if he gives away that he's hacked, then we're going to know. We're not going to let him come to our super happy, fun zombie fighting parties. Perfecto mundo. I even whipped up some tasty rations for our fighting foliage. Speaking of snacks, I could sure go for a quick grobble. Let's check the Snackulux 5000. What? Oh, it's a vending machine. Huh, that's odd. The zombies must have cut the power cord. The Snackulux 5000 is biddle flipped. Yes, the zombies. Bzzz. It could only have been the zombies. Rob Grumble zombies. Oh well, nothing my trusty Flabbit can't fix. I'll have this old snack fridge up and running in a jiffy. All right, we're repairing the snack fridge now. Hey, what, what? They're showing me how strong the bucket is. He do be strong though. Oof. Can you get him on the next hit? Or are we gonna get a third one going here? Well, I'm gonna get started on this, I think. All right, thank you, Grapes. Your help was not needed. Okay, didn't need power-ups and I didn't need you. Column crash course. Kill zombies in the mark columns to score points. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that idea. 
So you need you need 50 points to qualify for infinite brains or something. I'm gonna give it a try. That sounds like fun. Well, we'll just want to put uh, walnuts there, right? Oh no. They're not gonna let you do the walnuts there. Squash, uh, Squash always targets the closest zombies and can even attack backwards. Yes, that is true, I know that. Uh, okay, well, this is gonna be interesting. I think if we start now on this one, we should be able to kill it somewhere around number three. We're gonna do the same thing with this one, I guess. Come on. Okay, that was two points. That's fine. And stop. Oh, I didn't get any points for that. No way. Dang it. That guy's gonna get you, lady. Boom. Oh, really? Two? I thought for sure we were gonna get three out of that, guys. Oh my god, there's a lot of zombies coming, guys. I did not prepare for this. I need... Uh, ooh. If I can get if I can get the thing back quick enough, I gotta put this down first. If I if I can get this guy back quick enough, I can I can kill a bunch. Oh, I don't have enough time. I, I might get two out of this. Come on. Okay, I got some. Could have got a lot of points out of that if I had done it right, guys. But I didn't do it right. That was not good. I did not do well. I am sad. They actually gave, gave me a level that was challenging. How did I do? Twenty-four out of fifty. Ugh. You're not even gonna let me choose? The Snackulux 5000 is up in rubble. Now, if only I had some food to refrigerate. I'm starving. I am starving too. Starving for knowledge. Like that secret plant formula of yours. Give me the recipe. Mo, you look different. Did you get a haircut or something? Negative. Bzz. I am completely unchanged. Tell me the secret plant formula. Huh? You sure you're okay? Why are you so interested in Uncle Dave's secret plant formula all of a sudden? Maybe we should hook him up to his charging station and rub double a diagnostic? I do not require a diagnostic check. I require only the secret plant formula. Where is my bonk choy, guys? I want my bonk choy. That's that's all I want in life, okay? Block Flickle, I think I know why Moe's been acting so weird. Huh? Does it have something to do with that huge Z-Tech device hanging off the back of his charging station? Yes, Moe's been hacked. Whatever this Corpaloo is, it's hardwired directly into his Flung bungle. His flung bungle. Oh, nobody's allowed to hi hardwire anything into my flung bungle. I'll tell you that. That sounds like a very delicate operation. Is it dangerous? Big time dangerous. Good thing I brought my trusty flabberclap. Give me a hand, Patrice. Oh, it's crazy. Dave voice is actually starting to hurt my my uh, my voice box, guys. Jalapeno. We know what a jalapeno does. I wish jalapeno was a plant and not a power up. Oh, we're doing this again. I didn't realize we were on the uh, the point system. Okay. Oh, I did not need to put that there. There's only one zombie in this lane. Do I get a refund? Nope, no refund for me. Uh, we're gonna ha we're gonna try and get them all down there, but we need to do something about this one. Uh, uh, I've got to do that. Money, please. There. Okay. And then we just need to just just need to squash these guys. Okay. Missed that on the points. Whatever. Nobody told me what the points do. I don't know if they add up or not. Okay. So, what did I get the points for? Oh yeah, it does add up. 46 out of 50 now. Okay, great. I thought I thought uh, I needed to get them all in one level because that would have been not so nice. Okay, the hacking device will now be removed. Snap. Grosel Gabba Humbacks, I think I might have bobbled Moe's memory core. This is bad. Say something, little buddy. <laughs> oh no, Mo! can you hear me? He's not breathing, Uncle Dave. That's actually pretty normal for a lawnmower, but we'll need to reboot him. This charging station is borkled. He needs a new one pronto. Hopefully our little buddy is still alive in there somewhere. Mo, Mo, please. Oh, I can't lose you, Mo. <laughs> We just met! We have so much time left together! Okay, we have a gum Gumbot Boost, one of Dave's latest inventions. That looks fun. Activate the Gumbot Boost to bring a powerful trap with you in the level. Okay, here we go. Powerful trap time. Yay! When triggered, Gumbot will attack all zombies. <laughs> Woo! I like that. You can also tap Gumbot to trigger his attack early. That's fun. I like that. Try to protect Gumbot until there are uh, many zombies. What? Oh yeah, yeah. You, they, they want me to. They want me to have a lot of zombies for that. Yes. So we'll just, we'll just don't touch my Gumbot. Okay. I guess we don't really need all this stuff. We good? 
I think we're good. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, there's more zombies. Ah, oh, I thought I had it. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Yeah, I guess it's not that bad. We're all right. Oh, the grapes are here, guys. All is well. Thank you, grapes. Uh, how many? I, I did get some. I have 76 now. 76 of them points, okay? Good. Okay, so now I've qualified for the event. I get a half an hour of being able to play a video game. Way to go, Chumbleblarm. I'm in the Wood League. Oh, wow. Very cool. So you just need to just, just, just work your way up there. That's great. Great. Group rewards, eh? Oh, all right. Okay, we got a new charging station coming up, guys. Crazy Dave puts his multi-tool to work. Hmm. It's like a doghouse. Very cute. Oh. Is that like a mini golf? Is that like mini golf? I like that. That's a lava lamp, and this one's just low. Okay, I'm gonna go. I don't like the visuals as much on this one, except for the windmill, but I'm taking the windmill. <laughs> Gotta love a good windmill, guys, okay. Most new charging station is fully operational. Now for the reboot sequence. This shouldn't take long. Five excruciatingly long hours later. <laughs> Everything's just hooked up. Mo's operating system won't reboot. Why isn't it working, Uncle Dave? I'm stumped. If only I had my thinking chair. I could figure this out, but someone's stolen that too. Why don't you just build a new chair? It's only a chair, right? Only a chair? That chair had everything. A seat, a back, four legs. Okay, I guess it was pretty normal, except for the rocket boosters. Rocket boost? You don't need rocket boosters? But we'll make you another one. Bok choy! Let's go, baby! It's time for the bok choy! Guys, this is my favorite plant, okay? It's my favorite plant. What can I tell you? I fell in love with that guy in Plants vs. Zombies 2. He's not in PvZ 1, of course. And I, I, I'm just glad he's back, okay? Rapidly punches zombies ahead and behind. Pugnacious. Why pugnacious? Why'd you say that? This guy can hit it from the front. He can hit it from the back. That's cool. Bang Choi has short range, but works well behind other plants. Yes, he do. Boom, boom, bam, bam. Pow, 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 pow. Ouch. How dare you. Well, we gotta protect our bong choice. That's all that matters in this level, guys. Okay, how we doing? Everybody happy? Everybody's happy. Keep it going, bro. Almost got, almost got it hooked up. Here we are. Oh, oh, now we need. No, you're okay. You're okay. Ah, we'll help you out. Boop. I got a lot of points this time. All kinds of points this time, guys. Long clear. You know, I, and I've said this before, guys, that bok choy itself, like the actual plant in real life, is actually pretty good. I never had it till I was in my 20s. It's a salon chair. I like the Rubik's Cube. Too exotic for you, Dave. This is more your style, but I'm going to give you this little, like, retro one to go with the uh, the shed behind you. It looks good together. And who, who doesn't like a good Rubik's Cube? Okay. Hot dirt. Blah, blah. A man could get some serious thinking done in a chair like this. Stand back, Patrice. I need to stretch out and ploink scooby things over for a while. Ploink scooby them. One while later. Gibble clunk. I was looking at the problem from the wrong angle. Most love garble won't update and reboot because the satellite dish is broken. Hurry up and fix it before Mo drifts off to that big headlight in the sky. Stay away from the light, Mo. Relax. We're gonna fix him. You know, Patrice from uh, from How I Met Your Mother. Patrice! We all hate Patrice. Flag zombie. Flag zombie, you get one of these by itself, okay? Come on. Gotta get these, these bad boys out, okay? Yeah, we're all right. We might need to replace this poor walnut at some point, but it's, it's okay. Uh, let's do this, because there's a lot of zombies in this lane. We want to get that money. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, do this. All right. Boom. I think we're good now. Speed it up. Watch it happen. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Okay. And one more. There you go. Sandwich time. Yeah. Nobody puts bok choy on sandwiches, but maybe you could if you wanted. Hey, cherry bombs. I want them to be plants, not boosts. 
Do you understand me? Oh my god, a game, uh, an ad that I can actually play, guys. Wow, look at me playing a game while I play a game. Gameception. Okay, you know what? This is like the best ad I've ever played. Okay, well, well I think we did it. Last thing in a day here, folks. Looks good, Dave. You did a good job on that, Dave. Way to, way to go, buddy. System reboot complete. Creator Dave, what happened? My internal memory logs contain several errors. Mo, thank Rural, you're alive. Who's Rural? Dr. Zomboss corrupted your hard drive with a Z-Tech. You were out of control. You really don't remember what happened? Negative, accessing memory backups. Oh dear, oh no, what have I done? Shameful confession. According to these files, this unit completely destroyed Creator Dave's garden. Huh? The garden? That's where all the little plants grow. We better get over there and check on them. Are we getting a garden? Are we gonna... Uh-oh, Zomboss time. <laughs> Drat! I've lost control of Crazy Dave's Mowerbot minion. At least my plan was not a complete failure. <laughs> we managed to mulch his precious garden into a garden. <laughs> On to the next phase of my brilliant master plan. Tugboat? <gasps> oh, what? A vacation? Absolutely no vacations until I rule the world, or at least Neighborville. Back to work. Tugboat. <laughs> I feel bad for Tugboat, guys. Maybe Tugboat's gonna have like a, like a redemption arc where he becomes a good zombie. Decides what he's doing is bad. Wow, look at this place now. Oh my God. Just what I wanted from my video game. It's lunchtime. Got some stuff that I don't need because none of this is relevant to me just playing games, playing video. I can play video games without it. I don't need coins. I don't need whatever this infinite brain thing is. Okay, and I don't need your boosts. I want plants. One more time with the old bong choy, guys. Boy, I'm gonna download some assets. Let's go. Cherry bomb destroys all zombies in a three by three area. Yay, let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, boom. I like that it instantly happens. That's kind of cool. Remember to save some for later, yes. Oh man, they really want me to use one of my things here, guys, don't they? I will not do it. You will not get my power-ups. Oh God, don't, stop it. Oh no! Okay, well you gotta die. Better hurry. Come on. It's not good. It's not good. The grapes, the grapes are coming, guys. I will not waste my power-ups here, okay? No, stop it. Okay. While you're thinking about what you've just done, I'm gonna go ahead and get a bong choy, okay? There. Hit that guy. Hit him! Oh, God. Mo, please help me, Mo. Oh, my God, they ate my bong choy. No, no. They wanted me to do it, guys. They really wanted me to do it. I didn't want to do it. That's just how it is. Come on, come on, someone give me a thing. Someone give me a thing right now. Oh, baby, I got it, we're good, we're good. That guy down on the bottom. We're just gonna, we're just gonna jump on him. There. Matt Shay's not using his boosts, okay? Maybe if they were plants, I'd use them, but they're boosts. Okay, well, now I got a, I got a present, guys. Cause I'm a, I'm a, I'm the world's best chumble blarm. So give me that. It's, it do be lunchtime. Thank you. This is useless. Okay, last thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna spend this ticket to start the new day. I'm gonna go over there somewhere. Huh? Rats, the garden is swamped with sea fog. We gotta save whatever plants are left. I will gladly volunteer my services once again. Please stand back while I decant contaminate the area. What? No way, you keep exposing yourself to that gripple. You're not indestructible, you know. It is the least I can do. The atrocities I committed in that garden simply do not compute. Chin up, little buddy. Whatever you did, it can't be that bad. Oh God, it's gonna be that bad, guys. It's gonna be that bad, I just know it. Oh my God, it looks terrible in here. Don't look, Crazy Dave, don't look. Don't look, Patrice. Flibble! It's so much worse than I could have imagined. The new task is to follow his path of destruction. Look at this place, guys. I bet this used to be beautiful. I bet you this garden is gonna escape real good later when we when we get some tickets so we can escape our garden. All right, 
that's where I'm going to end things, guys. I will continue making videos on this. Um, it's interesting because some of these levels are a little, a little bit challenging, you know, like I know people don't like that they can't choose their own plants, but at times it is good for the challenge, as I said earlier. So like, we'll just see where it goes. Okay. The jury's still out on the gameplay. It's fine. It's plants versus zombies gameplay. We'll see how it evolves over time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And if you want to watch another one of my videos, that's really cool. You could just click right here to do that.